All right, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. It's Dave observing real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Okay, breaking news. Right off the top here, it appears that Jeff Coffey, uh, the new lead singer from Chicago, who's only been with the band, I think, less than two years right now, uh, he is out. He has decided to call it quits. Uh, big long explanation on his Facebook page talking about solo music that he's going to come out with uh, wow uh, this is a holy crap Batman moment for me uh, I was hanging out with the coffees uh, about four or five weeks ago with my son backstage those pictures are on my Facebook page I haven't really posted them anywhere else apparently the lens and the camera was kind of messed up and probably needed to be cleaned uh, so it's kind of fuzzy, so I never posted those pictures, but I had a great time. We were backstage, we were talking, we were having a good time. Uh, you know, I asked Holly a couple of times, how long is this going to keep going? But we were looking, I was looking at Robert Lamb walking by me at age 73 and, and uh, Jimmy Pankow walking by me at age 70 thinking, how long are these guys going to keep doing this? Uh, and right now, you've got to be thinking to yourself, is Chicago done? Are they done? Are they going to have to cancel dates? I know their tour is absolutely relentless. As I talked about uh, doing the Triz video the other day, I said, yeah, I could see that there's really not enough family time and downtime scheduled in to these tour dates. And the, this is what just... Maybe, you know, Jeff doesn't want to wind up like uh, Steve Perry or, or Arnell. Uh, he's got a very sweet, steady, rock-solid tenor voice. Uh, his song, I mean, his musical abilities have been fantastic. Uh, in his explanation, he kind of piggybacks onto what Triz and Bowden said the other day. But what's odd is Triz has been with the band for 28 years and Jeff less than two. So I know Jeff, uh, he's got a close-knit family. He and his wife are just a great couple, too. If you watch some of their postings and stuff, they just they look like a great family. Uh, they got some great kids, and uh, they're down here in Florida. They're way up to the north from me, but they just, you know, maybe this was just too much. Uh, once you get into the rock and roll lifestyle and you're on the road and you're, you're living out of your suitcase and you're going from Holiday Inn to Ramada Inn to... Marriott or whatever, uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, why did I do this? You know, it's a shame because it would have been cool to hear Jeff actually record something new with Chicago, but apparently that's not going to happen. Now, speculation, you, you're minus a drummer right now, and you're minus a vocalist right now. A, a vocalist, by the way, that you have to take great care in finding a replacement for and this now if you go back you've lost Satera you've lost Chef and now you've lost Coffee so I know Chicago's uh, slogan is everyone is replaceable uh, I'm wondering who the replacement will be for Jeff Coffee or is this the end of it uh, it's gonna be tough I know these guys like to persevere but it's gonna be tough now Drummers, no offense to drummers, drummers are kind of a dime a dozen. Uh, I think they need a rock solid drummer back there. They've had two amazing drummers, but um, it's probably going to be easier to fill the post at drums than it would be for vocals. So, this is a bizarre, very crazy occurrence. I wasn't going to do any more videos today, but I had to do this one because. I was pretty close to the whole situation and you know maybe I, sh I I'm happy Jeff got the gig and I'm sure he's now always gonna be you know Jeff Coffey formerly of Chicago he can put that on his resume he can tour with that he can uh, do gigs with that and he can always you know jump on a Chicago song if he wants to during a set of music if he decides to go out on his own uh, there are a lot of former Chicago members and this kind of does raise some questions maybe about the inner circle of the band. Uh, I had somebody tell me that Danny Serafin 
you know, had some information that was left out of the documentary and so forth. And again, I'm a big Chicago fan. Uh, and I just, you know, like every time, I just want to get to the actual truth of the matter. But this is a big deal. Uh, Jeff Coffey has called it quits. He is no longer in Chicago. And by the way, he and Triz have already played their last gigs. So, wow. Holy crap again, Batman. Uh, all right. So that's it. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. All I'm looking for is a buck a month, people. One dollar keeps this channel vibrant and going. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen to me. Uh, February 20th is kind of a D-Day thing. We'll find out if it, it's uh, I'm still allowed to be here and making money. Uh, if the money goes away, it's going to be really hard to keep this channel up and running. Uh, I might have to get a real job, which is <laughs> just not, uh, it's actually not feasible right now because our family is down to one vehicle. Uh, and I have a three-year-old at home who can't go to school yet. He's got epilepsy and so forth. So I'm not throwing that out there for sympathy. I'm just telling you I'm kind of boxed in to my life. So if you can help me out with a buck a month, I mean, it's a buck a month. What is that? That's nothing. That's just like change that falls out of your pocket. Uh, just, you know, throw it on PayPal, throw it on a debit card that you don't use or something, and uh, it'll help me out. All right, so that's it. Uh, Jeff Coffey, gone. No more Chicago. Jeff, buddy, what happened? Call me. Give me a call. I'm Dave. I'll talk to you soon.